Hello, my name is Dwayne Kersey, and today we're going to be talking about how to update your JVC cameras to the latest firmware. Starting off with the KYPZ200 and 400, we will first need to download the software Upgrade Standard. To do so, go to pro.jvc.com, click on the Professional Video tab, then click on PTZ Cameras. Click on the PTZ camera model that you are installing the firmware, then click on Sales and Support tab and then onto software and firmware downloads. If you scroll down, you will see the software upgrade standard.exe available to download. Once your computer is finished downloading the zip file, unzip and extract the file. save them onto a local folder such as your documents or downloads folder, or you can create a new folder to store your firmware. Go back to the same place where you downloaded upgradestandard.exe to download the latest firmware for your camera. Follow the on-screen instructions to determine if there is a new version of firmware available to download. Once that's done, scroll down to agree to our terms and conditions. You can now fill out your information and click continue once you download the firmware. Extract the files and save them onto a local folder such as your documents or downloads folder, or you can create a new folder to store your firmware. Now you can launch the UpgradeStandard.exe software that you downloaded in the previous step. From the main screen, click on the search tab to see a list of the available cameras on the network. Select the camera that you would like to update and then go on to the Upgrade tab, which is located on the top left corner. Refer to the instructions that are included with your firmware download to determine the firmware type and select it from the drop-down list. Then, click Open to navigate to the location of the firmware file to be loaded. Once that's completed, click onto the Upgrade button. The upgrading process will now begin. You will see your camera start to reboot a few times. Please do not disrupt the power during its reboot. You will see that the upgrading process has been completed when you see the pop-up screen, Upgrade Success. You can now click OK to conclude your update. Next up, the KYPZ100. To update your KYPZ100, we must access the camera's GUI. But first, let's make sure we download the update firmware file. It's similar to the process as the 200 and 400. Go onto our website to the professional video and onto PTZ cameras. Scroll down and click on the KYPZ100 camera model. Now, click onto Sales and Support tab and then onto Software and Firmware Downloads. Scroll down to click on the KYPZ100 firmware. Follow the on-screen instructions to determine if there is a new version of firmware available to download. Once that's confirmed, scroll down to agree to our terms and conditions. You can now fill out your information and click Continue. Once you download the update zip file, unzip and extract the file. Make sure to place the firmware onto a local folder, such as your documents or downloads, or you can create a new folder to store your firmware. Please make sure you have a PC connected to the same network as your camera beforehand. Open up your web browser, and we highly recommend using Google Chrome. Type in the camera's IP address in the URL address bar. The default IP address will be 192.168.0.10. A browser authentication will then pop up. Type in the username JVC and the camera's password. If you are unsure of the camera's password, try the default password, which is 0000. Once you have access to the camera's GUI, click onto the Settings tab, which is the gear icon, then click onto Maintenance, and then to the Change button to switch into Maintenance mode. Now click on Firmware Update. Select the Choose File tab and search for the PZ100.UPD file. Now go ahead and click on Update. This process may take several minutes or so, so please do not disrupt the power while the update is taking place. A completed update pop-up should be shown once it's completed. Click OK for the camera to reboot. 
Keep in mind, it may take up to 30 seconds to restore connectivity to the camera. Now the update should be displayed as the current version. Next up are GYHC and GYHM camcorders. You will need a blank SD card for the updating process. We must first download the firmware update from the JVC website. Same as before, go to our website to Professional Video tab and then select the camera type that you are using, either shoulder or handheld. Now click onto the camera model that you are using. Then click on the Sales and Support tab and onto Software and Firmware Downloads. Scroll down and click onto the new firmware upgrade. Follow the on-screen instructions to determine if there is a new firmware version available to download. Once that's confirmed, scroll down to agree to our terms and conditions. You can now fill out your information and click continue. Once you download the update zip file, unzip and extract the file. Make sure to place the firmware onto a local folder such as your documents or downloads or you can create a new folder to store your firmware. Going to your camera, insert your blank SD card and format it. Once that's completed, insert the SD card into your PC. Now locate the update firmware file and copy the entire private folder onto your SD card. Now eject the SD card from your PC. Refer to the instructions included with your firmware download to place the camera into update mode. In this demonstration, we are using the GYHC 550, which requires us to hold down the focus push and menu buttons simultaneously while powering the camera on. A message will appear in the viewfinder to confirm that the camera is ready to be updated by a prompt. Please insert update media in slot B. At this point, you can now insert the SD card back into the camera in slot B. The update will now begin. Once it's completed, eject the SD card and remove the power source, either the power supply, the battery, or both to reset the power. Now, repower your camera. You should now see a diagnose pop-up screen. Close the camera's hood and or cover the lens with a lens cap. Press the set button. The diagnose operation that calibrates the camera's CMOS sensors will now begin. It takes about six minutes or so to complete. Press the set button once again to exit. Now, go to your menu settings, then into system info, and then to version to confirm the new firmware. The updating process is now complete. Please note that again, we are using the GYHC 550 for this demonstration. These steps may vary on a different camera. To update your camera properly, please refer to the included instructions when downloading the upgrade. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions about the firmware update process, please visit us at pro.jvc.com forward slash support.